Today is the 27th of April. I know this because I'm leaving for Ireland today to go visit some good friends of mine and to do some photos, and I'm really excited. Um, I'm filming today from my brand new photo studio. Um, I, over the last month, have been working my tail off, and I now have a photography studio. For those of you who are just uh, surfing on to find me. Um, I'm a photographer. I live in Boston, Massachusetts, and I graduated last May um, from Boston University, and I am a photographer. I started my own business, and it's slowly been building, and with the help of my dad and lots of hard work I've been putting in, I opened my own photography studio. So that's where I'm filming from. Um, uh, as far as the numbers go, as far as my weight loss goes, I am down to 240, kind of, between 240 and 242. Um, something I did want to talk about today was my obsession with the scale. I started at 315, um, I'm now 240. I check the scale every day. In some ways, I feel like it's good for me because I'm paying really close attention to what foods are causing my body to do what. On the other side, I feel like I'm attached to it. Have you seen that commercial where they have the chain and they're attached to the scale? That's kind of what I feel like. Um, but I haven't checked the scale. Uh, I, I didn't check it all last week. Well, I lied. I checked it once or twice. But early in the morning, um, just because I We'll say I forgot that I wasn't checking it, but I knew what I was doing. But I, did, I didn't check it as much, I guess that's what I should say. Um, two weeks ago, because um, I know I have not updated, two weeks ago, um, my boyfriend and I went to Nashon, which is probably my favorite place ever. It's his family's island off of the Cape. Yeah, they have an island, and I get to stay there. I'm so lucky. Um, and I was actually on my, I got my period when I was there. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, I'm gonna lose all this weight because we're running around and we're walking everywhere because there's no cars on the island. It's just boats. We need a boat to get there. So I get back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gained two pounds. Wow. As soon as my menstrual cycle was over, I dropped like six pounds like the next day. So I don't feel nearly as uh, bad about that. But I did want to show you guys um, the dress that I bought. This is a huge victory for me because I've not been in a size 18 since I was in high school. And I'm not... Um, I'm not going to get overly excited. I'm lying. I'm so excited. I fit into a size 18 jeans. And I bought a dress and it's a size 18. And I'm really excited. So I'm just going to stop this. And I'm going to put on the dress that I'm wearing to my wedding. Not my wedding. Wow, Tristan's probably watching going, what? No. To the wedding that I'm going to be at. Um, and I want to show you the dress because it is a size 18. And um, it's a difference, you know? I mean, let's see. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I mean, I want 75 pounds, you know? So it's, that's, uh, that's a big deal. And it, it's weird. Like, I look in the mirror, I don't see much of a difference. <laughs> I feel exactly the same uh, body image-wise. And I'm sure a lot of people have had that, where they look in the mirror and they don't really see the weight until they get into, like, the 100-pound mark. But, um... Another thing is, too, even though I'm, I'm not losing a whole bunch of weight per week, um, well, compared to some people, um, I, I feel like my body's still changing. So I feel like my, just, my fat placement's going different ways. I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, I'm going to stop this now. I'm going to put on the dress. I'm going to show you the dress. Little cherries on it, little pencil skirt. I feel really cute in it. 
I'm gonna wear Spanx with it, so. But um, but yeah, so I'm I'm really excited. I just wanted to show this to you. Oh, oh, and I'm gonna show you my new jeans. Okay, stay right there. Hold on. How do we start you? Okay, so I was gonna show you my new jeans. I'm looking at myself right now in the camera and with it. I look kind of pregnant in this. I mean, I should. But anyways, these are my jeans. They're these I bought. Um, they're actually a size 20. So I was gonna show you teens, but I don't have one made. So um, these. I can do this. These jeans that I'm wearing now, um, they are uh, 20s. Um, but they were really tight. They were so tight that I only wore them for like a month when I bought them. They're old. I bought them when I lived in Alston. So that must have been five years ago. And yeah, I should probably come down here that way. Um, ooh, ooh, the lights in the way. Um, and hold on. Okay. So I bought these five years ago and, um, they were too tight. I, when I bought them, they were too tight. I knew they were too tight, but I wanted to squeeze into a 20. Now these are f too baggy. The butt is just way too baggy. The legs are baggy. And I loved these jeans and I always wanted to wear them. They were one of my first gold jeans. I do have a pair of 18s that I bought when I was size 20 that were too small. Um, that I, are my next gold jeans. I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so hold on a second. Let me just change. Okay, so I just, um, just tennis us down and organize everything. But um, yeah, so that's about it. I just wanted to show off my Austin dress because I'm really proud that I'm in it and it makes me feel really good. Um, also, I just wanted to talk about the studio. So I got some excited about that. And um, uh, I've been thinking a lot about the things I'm doing that aren't helping me as far as my diet goes. Um, I am one of those people who doesn't get affected by sugar or fat content, and that is just how it is. So I find myself occasionally putting some creamer in my, my coffee. Speaking of which, I wanted to ask you guys, does coffee stunt your weight loss? Because I find when I drink coffee, I don't lose nearly as much as I do when I don't drink coffee. And I try to drink as much water as possible, but sometimes I just need to pick me up. Um, so I wanted to ask about that. Um, let's see if any of you guys have any information on coffee. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, and I'm gonna just turn the camera around so you can see my studio, because it's so awesome. Ready? All right. This is my awesome, awesome big mirror. That's my chase, so people can sit down. That's my new office over there. Maybe we should go to the office. This is my desk. There. Get one of my favorite prints up there on the wall. Oh, it's gonna be backwards, but it says, uh, keep calm and carry on. So, yeah. Oh, I, got, I still have a lot to do. I've got, um, Oh, oh, and I have a skylight. Check it out. I'm sorry. I'm just really excited. And then here is where I store all my props and little dresses and stuff. Everything's still kind of disheveled because, like I said, I just moved in about a week ago. Um, okay, so that was everything. I hope you guys um, liked watching it. Um, it's from 315 down to 240. Three months out, almost. Yeah, three months out. Oh, the world, the, where time goes, it's just blows my mind. Um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Be safe, and I'll see you when I get back from Ireland. Hopefully with pictures to show. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.